And we reached out to a Valley professor whose classes focus on terrorism. He says ISIS targets potential recruits through the web. Channel 5's Stephen Sadavia spoke with him and parents about social media safety. Stephen? Yeah, Dr. Philip Etheridge started teaching these classes roughly six years ago, and in his research, he says terrorist groups like ISIS not only use social media to recruit, but to convince people to carry out these attacks for them anywhere. They are attacks which can be hard to prevent. This idea that we know what a, a terrorist looks like, uh, those days are over. Dr. Philip Etheridge, an associate professor for criminal justice at UTRGV, says terrorist groups like ISIS are using the internet and social media to convince others to commit terrorism. We've seen this around in Europe, we've seen this in, in, uh, in Paris, we've seen this in France, we've seen this in other countries, and now it's in the United States. We spoke with this mother of three who says just the thought of a terrorist trying to target her kids can be unsettling. They're always on Snapchat, on Instagram, Facebook. Um, those are just the few that I know about. Dr. Etheridge says parents like Sewell shouldn't worry too much as these groups don't just target anyone. He says they usually wait for them to make the first move. They're using methods that find out if somebody's surfing surf certain pages and may actually start to target people. From there, he says they'll do what they can to convince them to do these heinous acts. And the ideology would be, I need to do something. You read the literature, you may watch uh, some of the terrorists have put out things on the, on the web, uh, uh, sermons almost, and you begin to think that way, that you need to do something. One important factor Dr. Etheridge says they are looking for in someone is a clean record, making them an unlikely suspect. The FBI says the best way to stop attacks like these is to report any suspicious activity, and they have a way to do so online. We'll provide a link on our website, krgb.com, after the newscast. Live in McAllen, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News at 1030.